hello 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 welcome to the stream how are we doing tonight as the title suggests we're just gonna be doing some side quest stuff tonight so let's see what we got going on hello farmhand sir jesus christ be praised do you want something i do and you look like the kind of fellow who knows a thing or two and wouldn't mind a bit of work that's not entirely well honest dishonest work you say what's it about i'm looking for someone who knows how to dip her pockets for a reward of course dip a pocket sir i assure you that i can do that lucky for you that i happened along who do you want me to rob there's a <laughs> farmer who lives in the craftsman's yard who you want me to steal from? Vegetables to the monastery. I worked for him for a while, but then he threw me out without even paying me for my labor. I'd like you to steal the groschen he owes me. And also a pouch containing an amulet he got from the herb woman. Full disclaimer, there is the potential that my boss so calls me sometime in the next few hours. Fit. Sounds easy enough. Um, it ain't quite that easy. Otherwise in which case I will have to go do I'm an interview real quick. No one, and he's always looking over his shoulder. If you manage to nick his pouch and his coin, you can keep the Groshen as a reward. Good luck to you. Good day to you. The Lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Uh, through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown, a beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But, well, in short, the good merchant, Martin Wiesek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground mm. swallowed him up. Well, oh, the ground swallowed him up, did it? Uh, look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding and definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. Well, it just so happens that I am something of an adventurer. Why don't you just ask me? Of course I'll try to find the stone. Just tell me where the fellow was seen last. Well, that fellow, as you call him, the esteemed merchant, Martin Wiesek, was last seen riding alongside the Sassau River, passing by the footbridge over the ford, to the west of here. Evidently, he never made it to Sassau town. Hmm. Well, I'll look for him, but he could be far over the mountains by now. Or under the ground. Hey, what up, my boy? Ooh, there's a lot of blood. That's not good. So chances are good. Oh, okay. So somebody was beat up and drug off. Let's get the bow ready, just in case. Dude, are they sleeping? Idiots. Who's there? Well, I uh, the pig turns up uh, uh, for the slaughter. Christ. That's enough of that. Yeah. Time for action. I put my weapon away. Yeah. They don't take too kindly or to that. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. A knight? I am no sir. About that Moldavite we discussed. Yes. Do you have some news? Yes, uh, the good news is I found Vizek. That sounds like cause for rejoicing, but how come he isn't with you? That's the bad news. He didn't survive. Merciful God. He was a good and highly respected man. I will pray for his soul. Anyway, let me see the stone, if you would be so kind. Of course. No, nah, we'll be good. It is. It's for the Excellent. lady. It looks undamaged. I'll get straight to work. You can come for the finished crown tomorrow evening. God be with you. So, from 
from the beginning. Well, good day to you. What do you need? They say you're the best blacksmith in the whole region. That metal you've tempered never breaks. Ha! Ah, nothing but old wives' tales. Of course, some of my pieces are broken, but only ever here at the smithy. No one's ever returned anything for you to rework, though, have they? Not that I recall, but I can't remember everything. Father was a blacksmith all my life. He always stoked up the furnace till it roared gently, and you could smell the heated iron. Then he plunged it into the water, and that was that. Fine words, and no mistake. I do it a little differently. I heat until the metal is two, three shades short of bright yellow. I ease up on the bellows, and after a Lord's Prayer and a Hail Mary, off it goes into the water. It's, um, it's strange to think that I'll never help him out with it again. Our forge will stay burned out forever, unless I go back to the trade myself. It would be a shame not to, lad. Working iron is a worthwhile thing. Godly. It makes life easier for folk. And, let's be honest, you can make a decent living doing it. Thank you. It was good to remember how my life used to be. Maybe you'll have the good fortune to return to your trade. Seems like a really nice guy. They want to say he's casting spells. I'd like to ask you about the temper. And I'd say I've nothing much to tell you. You just need an eye for it and a furnace. Can I smith my own stuff? Tempering. And when you quench, there's nothing. Well, that depends. I heat it up again after that, but not so it starts to glow. I just hold it like this at the edge of the furnace for a while and then quench it again. You quench twice? Yes, although there's less quenching needed the second time, it doesn't get quite so hot. And how does that help? I don't rightly know. I found out about it by chance. I got caught short, needed to piss so bad, I left the rod resting by the furnace by mistake. That's how I found out if you quench twice, it doesn't break as easily. No idea why, but I've tried it enough times to know it works. I've heard it said that you're a warlock. What? Why the fuck would they say that? <laughs> they say when you temper steel, you chant spells, and then nothing of yours ever breaks. Spells? <laughs> That's a good one. It's no spell. Just a rhyme to time myself so I don't hold the steel hair too long. Let's see what's going on. Damn. You there. I've been sent here from Talmberg. I'm to speak with the one responsible for construction. Gotta be the master builder. Or with our brother, the overseer. What matter is it you're here about? It has to do with the stones for construction. Ah, then that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the overseer. He knows more about that sort of thing. His study is right above us, more or less. Go up the steps to the left and then head back in this direction, almost the whole way. I'm at your service, sir. Man, these people like me. I come in the name of Sir Divis. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divis interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it, or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role, but I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of, and that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery, but those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well? Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. 
You remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as <laughs> less work. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg Quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments, and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. Fair. God be with you. The overseer sent me. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. He should have done it himself. Why do you want to know, anyway? Because of the Talmberg stone. If they really are delivering poor quality material, then there should be consequences. I'd be interested in what kind. <laughs> but I'm guessing the Overseer likes the idea of cheaper stone, right? And have you noticed anything else going on? Of course. It's a construction site. Things are always going wrong. The men are always complaining and the work isn't being done fast enough. <laughs> so it's just like any other building work? Essentially, yes. Occasionally someone brings in bad wood or a man cuts off his thumb and blames it on a bad omen. And then there's all these rumors going round. I'd be interested to know what the men talk about. <sighs> Who's been stealing? Which men from the monastery go to visit women? How the work's going? Normal things. It's only the talk about the curse that's not in the normal run of things. The curse. And then there's that devil's skull. Ooh, they we got spooky skulls. You talked about the devil's skull. I did. They say it was found in the hole dug for the foundation of the scaffolding. They moved it so it would do its harm elsewhere. But I wasn't there to see it, so I don't know. And who might know more? Shouldn't you be investigating the stone? Leshek's in charge of the scaffolding, so ask him if you really have to know. He might tell you something. The guy's kind of a dick. What else is new? Who's stealing? Could someone be stealing the stone? According to the rumors, everyone from the abbot and the custodian down to the lowest laborer. It's like with whores and dice. There's no protection against slander. And something gets lost here and there, that's true. But nobody stole any stone. There wouldn't be any left if every man here started helping himself, would there? Where's the scene of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. <laughs> Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the place. Do you, Zamola? Who's in charge of the place where the accident happened? Me. I watch over everything here, and when necessary, I go to see my master. He's kept busy enough with the construction of the church. And are you responsible for checking the stone? Yes. We tested what load they could handle and how much they crumbled during dressing. But some of them must have been more weathered than we thought. Where were you when it happened? I'm not even sure. Somewhere else. I ran over when I heard the screaming and they were already taking him away. Did you notice anything suspicious? No, I didn't. These things happen with great building works. It wasn't the first time, and God forgive me for saying it, but it won't be the last. Can you tell me something about the poor wretch with the broken head? Yadok, he was a decent person. You could rely on him. He was honest, and went to church. Why do you want to know? Did he have any enemies? Somebody who would want to... Kill him? You think someone threw that stone block on his head? If you're looking for the culprit, have a look at the stone. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumours spread anyway. And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon skull. Here, on holy ground, in the middle of the monastery.
but it was outside the monastery walls. Where exactly? Is there anything else there worth seeing? Nothing but scaffolding. We started digging there to set foundations for extending it. And are you sure it was a devil's skull? I know what I saw. I can recognise a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil, besides. The thing gave off a diabolical stink. Probably a goat head. And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. Oh. It do be having horns. It looks genuine. But I'm not capable of judging. I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I found this skull. People are saying it's the skull of a demon, but I don't know. It certainly looks like it, with the horns and all. Well, let's see. Those are deer antlers that someone's fixed to this human skull. It's not a devil, just a bit of devilry. I'm glad to hear it's not the real thing. Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they were due to dig. And they put a lot of work into it, too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did this was skilled bugger, and no mistake. Have you seen Leszek, the scaffolder? I saw him. What do you want with him? I want to talk to him about the head he dug up. Really? That's interesting. Why? He asked me to meet him on the scaffolding tonight, so he can tell me something important. Hmm. Said he wanted to confess something. So he did have something to do with the skull. I knew it. Maybe. But I'd wager someone made him do it. He doesn't seem the type to come up with something like that on his own. Okay. I'm planning to go and meet him. Will you come with me? It will be safer with the two of us. I'll go. Very well. Henry's just ready to get in there. If I'm down to the bottom, then look for me at the top. All right. everything yeah you fucking better bro who sent you it, who's the master builder's helper oh the, the plot Zola. thickums what? he was supposed to be here as well he isn't he went to the mill nearby when he found out leshek was hiding out there fuck who are you i i'm just a worker here he, he told me what am I supposed to do with you? You tried to kill me. I was aiming to miss on purpose. I wanted to scare you off and, and then say I missed. D don't kill me, please. Hmm. I feel bad killing him. Mm. I won't do anything to you. I'll leave you in the hands of the monastery law. Th thank you. Too late. I felt bad. Paula, the master builder's apprentice. Him? How do you know? He sent someone to kill me who confessed he was forced to do it. That's a serious accusation. And this man he sent, will he testify? He can. I hold him here. He'll confirm everything. All right. I'll talk to him. And if he testifies? And that's not even the end of it. Zmola's also set out to kill Leshek. Who's Why are you taking all the time to explain this? Go stop that get happening. him. I'll send the guard. I just hope they get there in time. God be with you. Your apprentice is behind it all, Master Builder. What? Leshek told me the skull was Zmola's idea. 
And he was responsible for the bad stone, too. And even worse things. Good God. Why would the lad do that? I always took good care of him and... Jesus Christ. The skull is a fake. But where would they get a human... Maybe to frighten the workers? But that wouldn't help anyone. It had to be an idiot who was nearly... Res and who are you? Brother Elias. What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the Scalots locals as much as I can. How long have you been helping here? Since before the refugees arrived. It was much less crowded back then. And what do you do here exactly? Mainly I help Brother Nicodemus. Occasionally I keep watch at night in case someone takes a turn for the worse. Sometimes I have to hold the patient down and fetch and carry things. Do you know anything about healing? A little. I can manage the basics, but without Brother Nicodemus, I'd never be able to deal with the more difficult cases. Thank you. Right. There's old Brother Nicodemus. Oh my god, I can pickpocket all of these wounded people. I'm not needed here. God, what will happen to my family? Your hunker? I won't get any sleep. Uh, Henry? I just won't get any I'm sleep. glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Well, uh, that depends. You're alive. So you're doing well. <laughs> okay. Cool. Fuck whatever I'm going through, right? What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... Yes? Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Um, can I help at all? Certainly. You can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. I won't get any they sleep. They took me to Ratai unconscious I and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding this up? This bitch. What can I do? Hmm, I'm I sure you weren't here helping, dying. so you're you kind of a piece of shit, them, Henry. And I can't do anything about it. <laughs> We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. The custodian strutting? What else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it. That devious it's dog. Like... No, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. Doesn't the monastery care? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep. But I wouldn't say they... Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat. Some game. 
That would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. <laughs> Anything else you need? Look around. Did well, you get it is it? a little crowded. Did crowded. you get a, hun a hundred meat? I had to leave some of the sick lying in Gotta the give her the air, meat. Even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that. Out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Hmm. Very well. All right, that's all I need. To Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohuslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do we whatever's need help, in Henry. my power. Who am I? To ignore the calls of a young lady. You're the one who's in charge in of the need. wounded. Yes, I'm the infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks you couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. How are the wounded from Scalitz? Some of them are well taken care of, but others, others are dying here needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith. But I have been around the wounded before. What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. That's true. He comes to visit Johanka. But he's never here long and he always leaves unsatisfied. I just won't get any sleep. So you don't Well there were accidents, of course. If only it had been a battle. This was cold blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like Henry's the only one who had an actual come up from the whole thing. Like, I'm doing great. Henry's doing just fine. He's like well fed, bathed, suit of armor. He's in the service of a nobleman. He has a horse. He's doing just fine. Would you teach me more? Certainly. I'd like to practice. All right. Now, pay close attention. Actually, I'm not doing any of that. Philip, from Scalitz. Hmm. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. I think we're just going to go. God be with you. Master Blacksmith. I think I know how the tempering gets done in Sassau. And what have you found out? Don't keep me on tenterhooks. Out with it. He heats it up to red, three steps away from yellow, and then stops heating, says the Lord's Prayer, and quenches. I'll be damned. That's pretty much what I do too. Except I just count. I'm just saying what I found out. That's as may be. But there must be something else he does differently if he does the quenching just like I do. He said he repeats the tempering straight after, but only warming up the iron, so it never even turns red. Tempering twice in a row? Why would he do that? He said it happened by chance once, and he noticed it made everything stronger, 
so now he does it that way all the time. Well, there's no harm in trying it out, is there? Are you satisfied? You did what I asked of you, so I'm at your service. And here's something to keep you going. Good luck, then. I've taken care of the... Where's the proof? Here it is. Good work. It looks like it worked. Thank you, Captain. But I have no fear of idleness. I've sent word to Captain Robard. They're expecting you at <laughs> Almberg. Very well, Captain. Glad to hear it. Ooh, why well, should be Father Godwin? He needs his job as a priest back. Oh, it did pop up? Excellent, excellent. So that was just my bad for not reading the activity feed. I'll see if I can't find out how to make it, like, read it too. I see you know how to wield a sword, Father. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practice with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by, and it helps keep me in good form. Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have he to seems to have forgiven witch. me. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk. And babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. A little bird told me she incited some Ujets women to witchery. What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church. So tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you witchcraft. learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. Consider it done. All right. I owe him Good. one for kind of like almost Never losing his fear. job. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman in the woods. Good luck to you. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I'm looking for the local groom. Well, you find him. What can I do for you? The lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well, Chamberlain Dietrich said someone would come. We have him here, but if he's ready, I can't say. I'm going to break a horse. Will let you saddle him and walk him around the courtyard. But as soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. That horse is supposed to be presented at a noble woman's wedding. Probably won't be appropriate if he makes a spectacle of his rider. Is there anything I can do? Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's arranged everything. Thank you. God be with you. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes. I suppose I do. And how do you do it? How do you calm him down? I... I'm good to him. He's good to him. Well, I want to treat the horse well too, but I don't know how because I don't know him as well as you do. Will you help me? I sing to him. You sing to him? Well, I thought he was going to say tickle his nuts or something. Horses come roaming in the merry month of May to graze in the shade of the apple tree there. The first one is brown and the second is gray. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's, uh, interesting. I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Basha. I've got good news, sir. The source of the problem was inside the monastery. There was nothing more to it. And the construction? We'll continue. The master builder's helper was to blame for everything. With him out of the way, the work will run smoothly again. That's good. You've accomplished your task admirably, Henry, and I should reward you for it. Thank you, Sir Davis. Can I be of service to you, Sir Davis? I've heard talk that something is going on in Pribis Lavis. Henry, you've come at just the right moment. I sent a man to Pribis Lavis, my locator, Marius. 
You're planning to resettle the village? Yes. What's a locator? A land allocator. I charged him with checking on the condition of the settlement to see if we can start rebuilding it. Why Pribislavitz of all places? Because it's been lying fallow and falling into ruin since it was sacked by Havel Medic years ago. It's about time that changed. Well, it should be safe there now. We trounced that rabble on the battlefield. Yes, and that's why I sent my master locator there. However, he should have yeah, been Henry, you idiot. long since. If you've no objection, I could go and look for him. I'd appreciate that. He probably just got delayed. But I'd be happier if you checked it out. May the Lord watch over you. Okay. Now, Lady Stephanie. Aha. Uh -huh. Welcome, Henry. The Lord save you. What do you need? I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Problems? Huh. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. <laughs> I brought you the crown from the master engraver. This woman's smitten. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So what's next? I brought the Rhone, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learnt a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <clears throat> Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May. To graze in the shade of the apple tree there. The dog, you dare sing to thy maiden? The first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful. I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after him in such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. He's a smoothie. Now, Henry. Guys, a no smoothie. Need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me. As well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. <laughs> your shoulders, a strong chest. It should fit you just right. You remind me of my dad, Henry. But I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well. And I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again... I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll try You won't look, Henry. It's no big and deal. What if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right, then. All right, then. Good luck, then. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned Are for your company. Bang? I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. Are ready? My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But... It was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. 
No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Sir, my word. Oh, are you gonna get hanged? Oh, forgive me. They're gonna I burn you at the stake. You shouldn't have. I don't mind. Henry, you dog. Good for him. An hour? Mr. Fucking Stamina? Let's go. 